Hey everyone, it's Max, and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VII tutorial playthrough series. That's right, as we are going through to try and figure out how to get this game from start to finish. <laughs> and today is backtrack day. You're like, what? What do you mean by backtracking? Yes, we're not actually going. Uh, we're not actually going to Gondola uh, City right at the moment. We've got some things to do first. Whoa, these guys look pretty scary, actually. Uh, I don't know what these guys can do, but I don't know. This is uh, pretty scary. You know what? Here's what I think. I think maybe we'll just burn you all. I don't even know what you guys do. You guys look pretty scary to me. Uh, you know what? I can't do that. Cause Barrett's got the <laughs> got my good my good enemy skill material. But that's what we're taking care of today. Today is let's go around and fix up the enemy skill materia day. So obviously we have our we have some things that we have to get done here and uh, we would like to have on this uh, enemy skill. Now we want to we want to be able to do a couple of things here, and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to drive around in the... Uh oh, this is bad. Walk across now. No way. I ain't doing that. Alright, so in the buggy, we can hang out in here. We're good here. Okay, I don't know what that all about, but we'll do that soon enough. Alright. Driving around, hanging out. That's what we do. Uh, the first thing we're looking for, okay, uh, is we're looking for a very big wormy type creature. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take a cut here. And once we have our big wormy creature, we are actually going to. Uh, I'll bring it back, and we will actually show you the first enemy skill to be learned. See you shortly. Okay, that is one ugly looking creature, isn't it? That is just unreal. Oh, never mind, I was going to have to manipulate him for this, but it looks like he's going to use it anyway. And that is what we wanted. We actually wanted the aqua lung used. Uh, but, hey, if he wants to just kind of use it without us even manipulating him, I'm fine with that. Boom! And you took some hit. Uh-oh. Probably doesn't look good. Look at this thing, it got like five hits. Alright, he's dead. So, I was going to manipulate him, but I didn't have to because... Psh, hey, Mr. Know-It-All there, he just decides to use it anyway. Now, we actually want to get out of this uh, get out of this sand trap here, and we are actually on... Um, we want to now actually go on to the beach here for a second. And uh, so across the river... Notice we just crossed the river. We didn't uh, we didn't go very far. All right, we're gonna talk about this guy, this house that we see here, momentarily. All right, uh, we want to manipulate one of these guys. Uh, you know what? I think she should cast a cure on. And I don't know uh, who she's casting that cure on. Here we go. I guess, uh, here we go. This is what we want. So we manipulated this big guard, uh, this thing here, and we want him to actually, uh, big guard us because this is actually a great spell. Look at this. Watch this. Cool. That's right. Now we're actually going to beat these guys into Swiss cheese. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, that's so funny. And there we go. So our second enemy skill, of course, is Big Guard. And this is a really cool skill. Uh, basically, it, what you can do with it is it casts a barrier around you. And this allows you to be protected. Uh, very cool skill indeed. All right. Now, uh, dude's house. Let's go talk to him for a second. One's here. Well, all right. No one's here. I guess we'll come back later. He's at. All right. But that's okay. We'll actually go this way for a while and get back this way a little bit. And I'm always. I'll probably get a little lost here, so. Joker guys. I'm really not liking them too much. What's the enemy skill guy? Um, what Aqualung does to them? <laughs> okay, I'll bet you he didn't mean to do that. We may not have beta, but Aquaglong, that'll do this as well. Alright, uh, oop, sorry, I jumped out of the car. And I need to go, I think it's this way? Yeah, so you notice here, we can actually take this nice little shortcut, get back to the and That's because we're going to go on a boat ride! Looks like the barrier is just about to run out. And having your own car is awesome. So you drive the car right into the town. Alright. And when you do so, alright. You're good to go. Talk to this guy for a hundred bucks. We pay up. And that's it. Now you get to go on the boat. And we're out of here. Now unlike the first crossing where there was a whole story to this, crossing the ocean here back and forth from Costa del Sol uh, back to Duron uh, it's not a big deal. So basically we just do the sail back and forth and we're set. By driving the car into the town though, on the other side, we get to keep the car. That's the best part. Just ignore that guy. <laughs> Just ignore him. <laughs> Alright, want to save yourself some time from running around in this city? This guy will get you a heli taxi. Sure. Because he still thinks I'm in the military. It's the best. This saves you all kinds of time of having to run through the entire city just to get out. Now you just jump in, take me outside, and that's it. Now you, you don't have to do any of that running. This guy just does the flying.
All right. Now, we're back on this side of the uh, wonderful ocean blue. Uh, because when we want to get back here, we are looking for the bird man. And uh, I'm going to get out of the car here for a second. Actually, gonna, I probably could have stayed at the hotel in there, but you know what? Uh, we'll just do it like this. So, run around here for a minute. Looking for Mr. Feather Duster himself. Hey, and there's who I'm looking for. Look at that. No, you just relax for a minute. Now see all this fuss he's uh, stirring up? Whatever. Oh, look! He's manipulated! And look what he has! He has a spell called White Wind. White Wind is a healing spell. Look at that! Nice! Yeah, we can hurt him. That's about it. Okay. Now, uh, we have to look around here for a few seconds. Um, And we're going to get into random battles here. There's nothing we can really do about that. I'm not too worried about it. So keeping in mind here, we have gotten back into easier territory. Um, we should be able to take care of these guys relatively easy for now. Alright, so we got to keep working our way back. And I'm actually going to switch back to the other view here. And I always forget how to do that there's a cave around here. We need to find this cave. See, I'm having a very hard time finding this cave. <laughs> Where is the cave? I cannot find the cave. Okay, so of course, to save you guys time and torture, I am not going to record all the battles. Uh, oh, there, there he is, right there, look. And there's the crossing right there. Good job. the car. Everybody out of the car. Into the cave. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Yeah, I know I've already escaped zero times. Uh, this is where you gotta play the little game of sneak in, sneak out, sneak in, sneak out. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is we have to get we have to get a certain number of battles fought. Alright, so the last two numbers in our number of battles fought has to be a double digit same number. So like 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, or 99. Alright, if they are if they are odd numbers, we will get a piece of mythical. And uh, if they're even numbers, we're going to get an accessory. All right. Uh, so with that, I'm going to have to fight some guy. I have to fight a guy here. So here's what I got to do. Make this work. I got 
and run around here in a circle all day, fight somebody, and each time I get into a fight afterwards, I have to run inside, ask the old man, and then hopefully uh, <laughs> the old man says, yep, you're good to go. Done. All right, so now what we do is we go back in to talk to the old guy. And we'll, we'll keep doing this until basically he gives us both things. So now we talk to him again, right? Uh, I know I've escaped zero times. So see, you can tell that this gets very tedious. I will not torture you guys on it though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, I'm going to take this away, and uh, with that I will begin the recording again once he wakes up. Hold on. Hey, there we go. We finally woke him up. Now we get to see if we're running on the even numbers or on the odd numbers. Who am I? I guess it was fate. Well, dude, I've been wake I've been running around a lot trying to wake you up. Okay, so we're running on the even numbers, which means I must be running on 22, 44, 66, or 88. And uh, I'm hoping I'm not running on not well. I keep running on the odd. So uh, in this particular case, now I get to run around again because I wasn't done the first time. Um, and that's because now we need the odd numbers. So now I have to go out here and I gotta run around like crazy. Uh, a couple of uh, show notes. Uh, <laughs> I just got my other um, level two limit break, which is, oh, or level three. I just got my level three limit break, which is media train. I'm, I'm gonna set that, because that's gonna be awesome. Uh, I'm also going to use a tent here, just because I'm running a little low on the magic. Of course, running around out here like crazy is, uh, and not leaving is costly, but we are building up some cash. As you can see down below, we are, uh, we are doing pretty good for money. So, with that, I guess we'll just keep going. I gotta get, uh, I gotta do a little bit more kills and go talk to him again. I'll see you soon. Okay, I brought you back because, of course, as you uh, as you know, I have to get these guys. I have to fight a number of enemies, which is either a double-digit even number or a double-digit odd number on the end. So you notice I have fought 331 times. Two more fights, I will now have 333 times, and the 3-3 on the end will allow me to actually be able to get the odd piece, which of course is the mithril piece. So I'll run out here, and uh, I'm going to fast forward through the fights just because it's relatively easy to do, but uh, once I get through the fights and we actually get in there for the 333rd time, we'll fix this up. All right, so that's 332 times, and I know it's, it seems like I'm wasting time, but you just, you never know. You, you, you just, I, you know, I just don't trust the, it's not that I don't trust the game, I just don't trust myself with the count. So this next fight should put me at 333, and then that will be all my odd number options, and then I should be able to get a piece of mithril, and we're good to go. Okay, and luckily we did not get into an attack before getting into this house. That's the other thing. Once you think you've got the count right, you can't get into another fight. So, now we talk to the old guy. Look at this. Who are you? Oh, it's fate. Thank you for the mithril. All right. So, yep, you can go back to sleep now. All right, so now 
We get the jumpin' holy smokes. And what did you do for the last 40 minutes, Max? Oh, not much. I ran around in a circle and killed a bunch of guys. Mm, yeah, that was a lot of fun. One thing, though. Did build up a little cash on that. Alright. Got 36 grand. Jump the car. Vroom. I can't see where I'm going. Alright, here we go, here we go. Alright, now... Boy, everybody's got high potions around here, don't they? Alright, let's keep driving here. Uh, I might need my world map to actually know where I'm going. <laughs> oh, there's Fort Condor. We're good. So, oh, silly fight. Okay, so now we've come back here to actually grab a few more items. And uh, with that, we want to manipulate a few things here in the caves, of course, uh, to keep filling up, uh, to keep filling up on my enemy skill, I'm also going to take it from Barrett here just temporarily. Now all this is doing is just saving me a little time. Um, if I can if I can just cast it on when when you're trying to manipulate and then cast an enemy skill, it's just faster if you can actually keep all the enemy skills on one person that way you don't have to do it twice to two people uh, so in this particular case that's all I'm doing here so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna manipulate a few guys and when we're done uh, as I get into each battle to manipulate them I will bring you back for those stay tuned okay we're back and uh, for this particular case we of course uh, I want to manipulate Mr. Dragon back there while his snake friends can just kind of bite the dust because I don't really care about his snaky friends. Oh, we didn't manipulate him this time. That's alright, i got to kill these snakes off before I can do anything anyway. Uh, one thing about the enemies that we're in encountering now is, I mean... <laughs> We are worked along now that, uh, oh, is he shooting it at me? Oh, yes! Never mind, I don't have to manipulate him anymore. We can just take these guys out now. Goodbye. Uh, so, of course, <laughs> hey, if he wants to give it to me for free without manipulating him, I don't care. Uh, one of the things, of course, is that the enemies in this, these areas nowadays... When we were back in the in the lower teens and we didn't have as many hit points, these attacks would be more scary. Uh, of course, nowadays uh, you can you can be pretty uh, pretty liberal with getting attacked and not worrying about it too much. Uh, it's pretty safe for going that way. Now, in this particular case, we want the skill of beta next. Yeah. Uh, and yes, to get that, we got to do a little work here. Uh, who's got the cure? Who's got my cure? Alright. Now, yeah, we got to put some items on here. Uh, I will go with the fire ring. Now the reason we're putting elemental fire in, of course, is because Mr. Mr. 
Mr. Go Lucky there. He's a he's a big uh, he's a big fire user. And the third person. What are we gonna do with you, Barrett? You got to miss out on this attack last time. Now I don't need his attack this time for this. Okay, so you know what? I'm just gonna get Barrett to cast the all ice. He'll get kicked out. That's fine. As long as me and Ares are in the attack, we're good to go. Uh, the other thing we'll do here maybe is use a tent. Alright. Yeehaw! Let's go kill us a snake. And this will probably be the last thing we do to end this episode, so hopefully it won't take me too long. Yoohoo! Snake! Here we go. So, of course, I will do no attacking. Barrett's gonna do all the attacking. Yeah! Ice to this guy. Uh, I have no. Uh, I could. I. I could cast White Wind actually. <laughs> and we'll just make sure Bear gets secured. And I'll just keep making sure that we get cured. I'm not even going to try for poisoning or anything like that. I'm just gonna keep beating this guy up. And of course, once again, Barrett is doing all the attacking. This is on purpose. I want Barrett to get kicked out. Ares is not going to. Ares is going to be just fine. She'll stay in the attack. Now we're going to do a big guard on us. This will cut his attack down some. I hope I cast it before he casts beta. There we go. With big guard on us, his attack is going to be a lot less. You notice now eh, he is going to push Barrett out of the scene. We manipulate Mr. Snake. Yeah, that's what he thinks. I'm expecting him to cause beta. Notice that it, we didn't take nearly the damage he usually causes. I'm just using her limit breaks, even if they're misses or whatever, that's not the point. I'm just using the limit breaks because I have to use her limit breaks up to actually get this to work, right? So now I'm just going to cast a beta on him to East Coast.
See you later. Okay, so this uh, this almost fills our second uh, our second enemy skill uh, up to the task, and the only thing left to put on it is Chew Buckle and uh, or Toto Buckle, oh, and that's painful. Uh, so in this particular case, I will uh, I will spare you that pain. Uh oh, I'm gonna spare you the pain of me having to deal with this guy too. You know what? Dude, you really upset me. I haven't got time for this. Uh, how about this? Oh, I gotta take a ether. That's what I gotta do. So, this is how you destroy a big snake. We'll do a big guard. We'll have her defense. See, now that we have Big Guard and Beta on two, this is this fight isn't even a fight. This isn't nearly as dangerous as it was when we got here the first time. So, enemy skill, Beta, and Barrett will cast Beta. Oh, no he won't because he doesn't have the magic item either. He's running too low. Well, we'll take one of them ethers for Barrett. Even if he does boot me out, by the way, it doesn't matter. With Barrett in the fight, we can still do what we have to do. One very dead snake again! <laughs> it's a lot more fun when you can beat him a lot. Okay, let's get out of this crazy swamp. Alright, so as I mentioned, I will not torture you for two buckle. Because of course then I gotta I gotta run around, I gotta find a level 16. I already have the little four suicide, so I can manipulate them with one of the materia, and then of course, uh, then do it with the other. Oh, and I gotta get level four suicide on the other materia. Anyway, as I mentioned, I'm not gonna torture you guys on that. So, we're gonna wrap up here, and then get back through them caves, and get back to Duron, because in Duron, we've got another surprise. Uh, but that's the end of this episode, so I will thank you all for watching and hanging out, and see you on the next one.